Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Happy Monday. Yes, I have to tinker with my lighting. I never can tell when I'm back in my office. So hold that thought. Here I am. Here I am. Hello. I want to talk to you today about being miserable. That had absolutely no help. Uh, being miserable, which is a very bad, poor strategy to have. Let me just shut it. There we go. It's a very poor, bad strategy to have. You know, I get on Facebook on a Monday morning, and I was like, oh my God, it's Monday. I hate Monday, so it's the worst day of the week. I gotta get up, I gotta go to work. And I'm thinking, you know what? If that's how you really think, get a different job. I mean, if you're not getting up on Monday and saying, yes, a whole new week, this is awesome. I get to do this, this, and this, then you're in the wrong career. You're in the wrong job. Because Monday's just a day. Monday's no different than Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. You know, I remember when I was in the military many years ago as a medic. Obviously, medics work shifts. I was young, I was 18, and I remember the first thing I got scheduled for evenings on a weekend. And I was like, evenings, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? Although we did figure out how to party afterwards. Different story though. You know, what am I gonna do now? And I remember Sergeant Atler looking at me and saying, you know, Karen, Monday's just a day. It's how you look at it. If you look at the weekend as, oh my God, this is a time to party and have a wonderful time, then that's your choice. But if you look at the weekends as just another weekend and that you know, you're gonna be out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then you make those days great. It's all in what you think. It's all in how you frame these days. And I think we just got into this collective thing over you know, being part of an industrialized nation that we work Monday through Friday and weekends off. And if you're not working Monday through Friday's weekends off, then you know, you're a shift worker or a factory worker and you, you're good with it. But the people that are working Monday through Fridays hate Monday. Don't hate Monday. Being miserable is a terrible strategy because the only one you're hurting is yourself and probably everybody around you that has to listen to you bitch and complain about being at work on Monday. You gotta practice just getting up on Monday and saying, yes, I got this. I'm gonna kick ass today. I am going to win the day. And it doesn't matter if it's a Monday you're gonna win or what day, I am going to win today. I am going to accomplish my goals today. You know, you don't need to look 20 years down the road or even five months down the road. Just look at today. What are you gonna to do today to make a difference in your life and others' and others' life? That'll get you out of being miserable right away. When you look around at other people, they'd probably kill to have your job. They would love to have your job. They would love to have your lifestyle. And you're like, well, you know, I make minimum wage and you know, I live in an apartment and all this. Well, first of all, we've all been there. And second of all, there's people that don't even have an apartment. There's people that don't even have a house, don't have a place to go to bed. They don't know where they're sleeping tonight. There's people that don't have money to buy groceries. So you know what, if you have money and a house or an apartment or a place to sleep tonight, you're doing good because I've been on the other side when I didn't have a place to sleep and I had no idea where I was sleeping that night. And it's not a great way to live, but I learned being poochy and miserable isn't helping me at all. You're never gonna figure out your strategy if you're being poochy. Instead, you gotta pick yourself up and say, okay, listen, if I hate Mondays, if I dread going to work on Mondays, what can I do today to change? Do I need to get a different job? Do I need to go talk to my boss and say, you know what, this job isn't really fulfilling me. I, you know, I see another job I'd like to have or I'd like to go to school and better myself. What can I do to do more? You know, look around and ask your friends that seem really happy. Hey, how come you're so happy? You know, a lot of us have been there with crap jobs, but why, be, why not be happy? Why not make the best out of it? Because it's not gonna last forever, but you being poochy could last forever. It's, it's if, you, if you're up and you're happy, the universe wants to continue to make you happy. It's all in your mindset, baby. Everything you do is mindset. And I know we hear that so often, it's almost nauseating. You know, mindset, mindset, mindset. But it's truth. What you think about is what you're gonna get. So if you sit around for two, three hours on Monday morning, and it's what, it's, not, I just got a text, I don't even know what time it is. But my sister's feeling better. She, she has Lyme disease. Who the hell? What the hell? So that was when you live back east. But anyway, you know, when it's probably 9, 9, 15. When you, you know, you've been in your day for two, three hours. I mean, I've been up since 5.30. 
working on a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I have a side hustle I've been working on. Then I get ready and come here and spend here eight hours and I'm going to an event tonight because I love it. It energizes me. And if you're not energized, look inside. Look at what you're thinking. Look at what you're doing. Look at your actions. If you want to change what you got, change your thinking. The minute you redesign your life story is the minute you got it. And I can help you redesign your life story. Jump over to my website. I have a five-step online program, 47 bucks. And I have people all the time tell me, you know, this is worth more. I know it is. I know it's worth more because the information in there is fantastic. But I want everybody to get it. And I don't want people to say money's an obstacle. So start changing your mind. Start changing your life. Make the decision today to be happy. Make this decision today that you're going to change your life. And the minute you make the decision, trust me, it all works out. And you'll sit back six months from now, or a year from now, two years from now, five years, 20 years, who knows, and say, you know, that was the day I changed my life. You know, the day I went to that used bookstore and I found Think and Grow Rich laying on the floor and I dug out, you know, $2 and whatever it was, 50 cents that I didn't have. I'm digging in the bottom of my purse trying to find it. Changed my life. Now, granted, when I first read the book, I didn't get it. <laughs> Think, didn't get that piece. Kind of missed that one. But it taught me to start taking action. Just take action. Just do one thing today to change your circumstance. If you're not happy in your marriage, do one thing today to change it. Whether it's, you know, being nice to your husband or sitting down with your husband, wife, spouse, whomever, and saying, I'm not happy about this. I'm not digging what's going on. If you're not happy at your job, go talk to your boss. If you want to start your own side hustle, get your ass out there and start it. Don't wait for an invitation. Don't think the universe is going to come up to you and say, hey, today's a great day to go out and start selling, you know, metal, wrought iron metal. Today's a great day to go out and start, you know, working on people's cars because you're a born mechanic or, you know, to do artwork because you're a great artist or to sell your book because you wrote a book. Just make right now at 8.58, I wasn't even close, I said 9.15, 8.58, the moment you take action. Just before 10 o'clock today, or, or if, I don't know when you're watching this, I want you to write below what action you took after this um, video. Right now, I want you to stop or when I'm done, which will be shortly. I want you to stop and take action. And let me know what action you took. And then I want to know down the road what came of the action. The minute you take action, you'll stop being miserable. You'll stop being miserable instantly because you're taking charge of your life. So take action and stop using being miserable as your strategy. Love Mondays, love Tuesday. If you wake up and you're on this side of the dirt instead of that side of the dirt, it's all good. Trust me, don't live in regret and don't be miserable. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.